Okay, so yeah, how are you holding up? I'm fine. Okay, how's it going with our mob princess? You making any headway? I'm working my way up to it. So yes, there will be a wedding. A wedding? Who's getting married? Trey, you there? So now you're eavesdropping. Well, Star lives here too, so if you don't want her to hear your conversations, then don't take a call in the living room. Okay, relax. A wedding is great news, right? Who's the lucky couple? Christina told me her father is uh, going to propose to Kate. I thought you knew all about this. You, you are the favorite son, right? The one he confides in. Shut, shut up. All right, shut up. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to check on this, okay? I'll call you later. Wait, okay? wait, do you think that Christina was over-exaggerating? I don't know, sometimes she can be uh, impulsive and uh, jump to conclusions, but... Look, if she's right about this and my dad and Kate are getting married, are right? you gonna be okay? Me? Yeah. And Kate gets to go on with her life like nothing ever happened. You know that I want Kate to heal? Just like I have, thanks to you. I'll see ya. Bye. So you and Christina have gotten pretty close, huh? Yeah, well, what, what makes you say that? She told you something that her brother didn't even know? It's not gonna be a secret for long. But what about your secret? Have you told her that your father is in jail? I'm gonna tell them there might be a wedding. Well, you can start by telling me. Michael! Oh, I didn't know you were here. Hey, yes. Hey. Just wanted to check in and, uh... Make sure Trey wasn't lying about this wedding. He told you. Well, is that a surprise? I, mean, I, I think I deserve to know when somebody in the family is getting married, don't you? Mm. Unless you misunderstood and Dad and Kate aren't getting married. I haven't told Christina or anyone else about my father being locked up. Why not? You didn't do anything wrong, and if your dad was framed, neither did he. It's... He, it, look, he asked me to be quiet, okay? It's a legal thing. I have to respect his wishes. You know, that's not really fair for him to ask you to keep a secret like Still, that. Still, it's what he wants. Then why did you tell me? Well, you pretty much badgered it out of me. Well, you needed someone to talk to about it. And I understand because I've been there with my dad. And I was happy to listen, but the more I think about this, the more I realize you should be confiding in your girlfriend, not me. No, 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 I'm not telling Christina. It's not like she wouldn't understand, Trey. Her dad has been on trial for murder two or three times at least. Yeah, but this, this is different. Yeah. Your dad's not up to his neck in the mob. I'm rather con... You know what? This has nothing to do with Christina. This is because you are embarrassed that your dad is in jail. And I get it. My dad has been in and out of jail since before I was even born. And it is awful what people say and the way they treat you afterward when they find out, but Christina is not like that. She's not going to break up with you just because you tell her the truth. Oh, well, she might. Well, if she does, then she doesn't deserve you. Not that you are some kind of dream come true. You are an ice cream stealing Wi-Fi hog. Christina seems to really like you, though. Can we just drop this? I promised my dad I wouldn't say anything. I'm sure it would be different if he knew that you were seeing Christina. He knows. He knows and he asked you to keep the secret from her? What, does he not approve of the mob princess? Actually, my dad's thrilled that I'm dating Christina. This makes no sense. Your father is allowed to know about your girlfriend, but your girlfriend can't know about your father? It's complicated. Yeah, that's what you said when you first told me that your dad was in jail. Yeah, well, that should have been your first hint to back off and give me some privacy, huh? Okay. Do you care about Christina? Then you should trust her. Do you trust Christina? Yeah, of course. Well, then you shouldn't keep her in the dark. Enough! Already, okay? I, I can't say anything and neither can you. Keeping secrets is not a good way to start off a relationship. Oh, apologize, Miss uh, Total Honesty. I'm just saying, you don't have to tell Christina, but I'm not sure if I can keep this from Michael. Don't get all upset just because I knew first for once, you know? The only reason Dad told me is because he wanted my opinion on the ring. But then, of course, Trey would be talking about it, and I should have told him just to keep his mouth shut. I mean, what if Kate says no? She won't. Still, it's the principle. You sure that's all it was? 
Yeah. Huh? Why? Do you really find it that shocking that Dad would confide in me? No, okay. I'm happy for you, okay? I am. Thank you. I just, I really hope that it works out this time between Dad and Kate. Yeah, I do too. Oh, sorry. sorry. Hello? Hi. Chrissy, it's me. Where are you? I'm at home. Where are you? Where's Mom? That's why I'm calling. Don't panic, but she's in the hospital. Is she all right? What happened? She was leaving for work, and, and she fainted. I'm on my way. What's going on? My mom's in the hospital. Well, let me drive you. Michael, I don't need a baby. Christina, we're wasting time. Let's go. Where's mom? Hey, um, she's with the doctors. They're running some tests. I know she's going to want to see you, but you got to stay calm, OK? Your mom will be glad to see you. Oh, mom. Why, did something happen? You can't tell Michael. I'm sorry, but Michael is my boyfriend. There's no way I can keep a secret. He is him. Christina's brother. You tell him, he tells her. You are making this up to she be way more than it out. is, Trey. It can't just be that your dad is in jail. It can't, unless he's some sort of serial killer. Is he? No, no. Of course he's not a serial killer. It... But he's also not the guy I said he was. Mom? Hey, honey. Hi. Hey, Jocelyn. Hi, Michael. What are you doing here? Did Jason call you? Oh, no, I came with Christina. She, uh, her mom's in the hospital. Alexis? Here. What's wrong with her? I don't know. What's, what's going on with Jocelyn? Oh, we don't know. We don't know. Hey, when was the last time you babysat? Uh, last week, Tuesday night, I think. Why? What's going on? Did you have trouble getting her to sleep? No, she, she fell asleep on the couch watching a movie, and I carried up to her room. Did you check on her later to make sure she was okay? I checked on her once, I think. Mom, what's going on? Uh, it's probably nothing, but last night, Jocelyn was sick walking. Yeah, she went all the way downstairs, outside, next to her swing set. Johnny found her laying next to the slide. It's a long way. It's a long way. I mean, I, as far as I know, it's the first time that it happened. I mean, I'm sure Mercedes would have told me. <sighs> Whatever. I'm sure I'm worried about nothing. And yeah. Steve's running some tests. As soon as he comes back with the results, we can go home. Huh. We can go home. Look, uh, Mom, do you need anything? I can go across the street and get you a decent cup of coffee if you want. I'm good. I'm glad you're here. First you tell me that your dad is not the man you thought, and now you're saying that he's not the man you said? What does that mean, Trey? Did he change his name or something? Or are you starting to believe that he might be guilty for what he was arrested for? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just growing up. You know, I, I was away at school, and, and it's been a long time since I've been there with him full time. You know, I, I mean, and, and I was a kid then, so... Maybe, maybe I just didn't see that... See what? Trey, if you expect me to keep the secret from you, I need an explanation. If your dad's not the person you said he is, then who is he? This is driving me crazy. Mom, have you checked on the transplant? First thing. Her anti-rejection meds are working. Transplant is fine. Why is she spiking a fever? The, the doctors will figure out what's wrong. She's getting sick out of nowhere, just like she did the last time. Jocelyn has been healthy ever since the transplant. I'm sure this is no big deal. They'll just give her some medicine, and then they'll send her home. No, you're right. I know you're right. She's going to be fine. Next, General Hospital. We've been here for hours and you still have no idea what's wrong with my daughter. What if it's not a bug bite at all? What if it's something entirely different? Somebody wanted Alexis out here. But who? The main objective for me is to cheat death once again.